Hello friends, we are going to perform the practical study of Colpitt's oscillator. Aim, design a Colpitt's oscillator of a given frequency. The here given frequency is equal to 71 kilohertz and given capacitance C1C2 is equal to 0.1 microfarad. This is the circuit diagram of a Colpitt's oscillator. It consists of a transistor BC548. It is a NPN type transistor. Its emitter is connected to ground through the emitter register RE. Collector is connected to plus VCC through the RC register. Base is connected to plus VCC through the register R1 and to the ground through the register R2. So here voltage divider type configuration is used. The output E get from the collector through the output capacitor 0.1 microfarad. This is the tank circuit which is used to generate the oscillation. It gives 180 degree phase shift between its input and output and it is fed to the input of this amplifier circuit. This amplifier circuit again gives the phase shift of 180 degree from its input to output and total phase shift of a 360 degree is completed. So it will generate the oscillations. The values used of a capacitor is a 0.1 microfarad. We need to calculate the inductor value to get the oscillation of a 71 kilohertz. It is designing part of oscillator. This is the formula of a frequency f is equal to 1 upon 2 pi square root of L C E Q. The frequency and capacitance is a given. We need to calculate the inductor value. So we rearrange this formula to get the value of inductor in the next step. We substitute the value of F pi and C E Q in this formula. The value of C E Q is calculated here. Its value is 0 0.0105 microfarad that is into 10 raised to minus 6 farad. So after substituting these values and calculating the inductor's value, its value is 100 micro henry. So we use this value of inductor here and build this circuit and observe the output. We design this circuit in a protease simulation software. We pick the devices from here. We need transistor VC548, register capacitor and inductor. Okay. Now we place the components
place the capacitors and inductor we rot rotate these resistors we need ground and positive supply of 9 volt we observe the output on the oscilloscope now we will connect all the components We need to change the name of the components and its values R C is two point two K. R E is of a six eighty ohms. R2 of 10K and R1 is 47 kilo ohms. We change the values of capacitor also 0 0.1 microfarad. So output capacitor. This is an input capacitor, its value also 0 0.1 microfarad. It is a emitter capacitor, it's also 0 0.1 microfarad. We need to change the values of these capacitors also to 0 0.1 microfarad. And we change the value of the inductor to 100 micro Henry. We have set the plus VCT to 9 volts. So the circuit connection is completed. Now we run the simulation. So here we get a sine wave. We measure the frequency of this waveform. In observation, we firstly measure the time period of the oscillations on the CRO. Its formula is lambda into T. Lambda is uh, the wavelength or the divisions, horizontal divisions to complete the one cycle. We measure through here. 
the horizontal divisions it is 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 total several divisions so lambda is a 2 and time base is on 2 microseconds so 7 into 2 microseconds that is 14 microseconds by using this time period we calculated the frequency of the waveform we need to substitute this value of t here 14 we convert microseconds into second so we multiply 10 raised to minus 6 to convert it into second we reform this okay now we use calculator to perform this calculation divided by 14 so its value is 71428 71428 hertz if you convert it into kilohertz then its value is 71.428 kilohertz So the given frequency is 71 kilohertz and we observe the frequency is 71.428 kilohertz. So both the frequencies are nearly same. There is a slight difference of 0 0.428 kilohertz or 428 hertz. So we conclude that the culprit oscillator can be designed of required frequency so we get the oscillation of any frequency using this culprit oscillator circuit thank you